What's good with it though? Hey, welcome to the channel. You trying to make some gains or you're here for a let's play? Either way, I appreciate it. So come on, check it out. This came up that boy you'll be hearing about. Yeah, so click a bit, you might learn something. My skills and jokes will keep you staying. So drop a like and sub, cause you'll need it. Man, just trust me, I'll make you believe it. You might as well just tweet it. Hashtag K Mills really did it. Uh oh, it's time to finally start it. Yo, what's up YouTube? Welcome to the channel. It's your boy Kane Mills. This video is going to be me describing how I'm going to lay this out and what I want to be in the future. The main focus of this channel is going to be a combination of fitness and gaming. Sounds unique and I enjoy both so hopefully I'll be able to pump out um, videos in a constant rate. How I'm actually going to be combining the two is going to be pretty simple. Basically I play a video game and I have a workout for it. For each episode there will be something like that. And depending on the game or series i'm doing there will be different matches or different objectives whether i win or lose will affect my workouts that need to be done for that episode i'll be explaining each series in a bit but let me go over the three effects or three punishments that the two main series will be going through um basically there will be three different punishments for each, these two series and if i fail the objectives or bad um matches i will receive them a uh, certain number of those punishments depending on how bad I do. <clears> the <throat> first punishment is I add another workout. The second punishment is I have five sets to all the workouts. And the third and final one, I add an extra set to those workouts. So for example, let's do legs. Let's make it simple like three sets of 10 for all of them. We'll do squats, lunges, and calf raises. So if I receive one punishment, I add another workout to those three, let's say sumo squats so it would still be three sets of 10 for all of them but i'll just be adding three sets of 10 of sumo squats along with the original three if i get the second punishment which is increase my reps by five on everything it'll be three sets of 15 for the squats lunges cat races and sumo squats if i receive all three punishments so i had the new workout i added the five reps i'll be adding an extra set to everything it'll, so it'll be Four sets of 15 squats, four sets of 15 lunges, four sets of 15 calf raises, and four sets of 15 sumo squats. Alright, so that's the punishments for the these two series. Let me introduce the two series. As you can see in the background, I am playing World of Warcraft, and that, that's this, the game for World of Gamescraft. The second one is going to be Poke Games. Let me talk about Poke Games first, since that one's going to be pretty simple. Basically, it's going to be on Pokemon Tournament. It's the new Pokemon game that came out on the Wii U's, like Street Fighter, but with Pokemon instead. And it will be three battles. So, if I lose two battles, that's two punishments. If I lose one, that's one punishment. If I lose all three, that's all three punishments. Pretty simple. Except for on Pokemon, after each match, you get a five. You get rated on a five-star rating. So, if I get a five-star, that means I did awesome on offense, defense. Um burst mode and strategy i believe those are the four things so if i get those if i get that five star rating i get to negate negate one of the punishments so if i lose all three but still get a five star rating on one of them i only take two punishments however that doesn't mean if i win all three and get three star rating on everything that doesn't make the baseline workout any simpler it's still safe so if we're using that leg workout as an example earlier if i get one star rating a five star rating and win all three doesn't mean I go two sets of ten. It still stays at the three set of ten. That's the baseline that I had to do at least for that episode. Next is World of Gamescraft. As you can see, like I said earlier, I'm playing World of Warcraft right now in the background. What? Um, but instead of doing three um battles or three games of it, I'm just doing one because the game that you're watching right now took almost full time which is almost 20 minutes so instead of doing a one hour episodes for this I'm gonna just stick it to one to make it roughly at most 20 minutes but I'm gonna have three goals the three goals is of course to win that's the one of them the second goal is to do a certain amount of damage or heals depending on the character I'm playing or the class I'm playing and hit a number of killing blows a little warning and a little heads up I am pretty bad at World of Warcraft right now. I used to be decent when the ex this expansion came out, but I took a long break, like seven months or so, 
I only started playing it back a few months. Um, and I turned into shit. <laughs> so the numbers are going to be pretty low. So if I lose, that's one punishment. If I don't hit the damage I want to do for or the minimum bit damage, which I set to 3 million at the moment, it will go up as I get better gear and then more experience I get. For heals, I have no idea. I only played heals in Battlegrounds twice and they were shit. So I'm just waiting until my character gets a little bit more geared to get a decent number. And for killing blows, I set it to 5, which is actually pretty low, but in some Battlegrounds, it could go from 10 players per team to 40 per team. So it gets kind of tough because if everyone's hitting the same player, I don't know if I'll be able to get the killing blow even if I did more damage. So I'm going to stick it to 5. That's pretty standard for me on a good day. So as long as my team is in other shit, I should be able to get this. If I'm in a bad team and we're just losing flat out, yeah, that's pretty much a one punchment that I'm going to just take. The third series that will be coming out as a Pioneer series is going to be a Pokemon Nuzlocke, but my own little twist, my own little twist, and I'm calling it a Gainslock. If you don't know what a Pokemon Nuzlocke is, like you've never seen a Pokemon YouTuber or just don't know Pokemon, basically, you play a Pokemon game. It could be the newest one or the old school one, like Pokemon Red or Blue. But basically, the three baseline Nuzlocke rules are you can only capture the first Pokemon in each route. You must nickname each Pokemon that you get. And the third and most crucial one is when a Pokemon fades, they are considered dead and you can no longer use them. So if your Pokemon get poisoned and you're trying to run to the Pokemon Center because you don't have any antidotes and they faint, you can't use them. If a random Geodude uses self-destruct and your Pokemon dies, too bad, you can't use them. If you were supposed to live an attack but the other Pokemon crit you, too bad. <laughs> so those are the rules for a Pokemon Nuzlocke. Basically if I lose all six, like if I white out, it's game over, that's the end of the series. But for my own little twist is that I have to do cardio whenever there's a grinding montage. And like you said, if you've never seen a Pokemon YouTuber do a Nuzlocke before, they usually do a grinding montage, which is you level up your Pokemon outside the episode by just training, fighting random Pokemon to get your team on par with the game. Uh, usually this could take 30 minutes to a couple of hours, depending on how much you need to level up, so it's outside the episode. But it's recorded just to prove that none of your Pokemon die. Or if a Pokemon dies, you're not cheating. But for me to do that, I have to do cardio. That could be running on a track, um, doing running on the treadmill, using a power shoot to do like suicide sprints, whatever. I just have to do some fun a cardio. It has to be recorded and has to be posted along the grinding montage. So if my team is under leveled by five levels and I'm about to fight the gym leader, and I need to grind up, I have to do cardio. If I'm feeling lazy because I had a rough week, don't want to do cardio right now, I can't grind up and I just play the game. Hopefully I don't lose Pokemon. And to go with that, if I lose Pokemon, not only am I not able to use them anymore, but I also have to do a five by five challenge. Basically a five by five challenge is five sets of five reps. Sounds pretty easy, but you do at a weight that's really difficult. So by the time you're done, you are fried out and exhausted. It's supposed to increase strength, I don't think it's supposed to increase size, I think it's more of a cut, I think, but I don't know. But I know it's supposed to be a strengthening workout, and that's what I'm going to do. So if I lose three Pokemons, I have to do three 5x5 five five challenges. It doesn't have to be on the same core muscles, so the first one could be legs, the next one could be back, the next one could be arms. I just have to do three of them, or at least the number of Pokemons that died that episode. So the grind montage in the beginning will have the cardio, and if I lose any Mons, the 5 by 5s will be at the end. So that's pretty much going to be how I'm going to lay out the game's lock. And like I mentioned for the Poke games and for the game's craft, it's going to be based on the three punishments, which will be shown, or the workouts will be shown after the games are played. So it will be like my end card for the video. The schedule for these videos are going to be, or at least for Poke games and World of Games craft, they're going to be once a week. Um, not on the same day. I'm thinking of 
one of the games has to be on Tuesday, and Poke Games is going to be coming out either Friday or Saturday. I'm thinking more on Saturday. The reason being is that the Games Lock series is going to be a Monday, Wednesday, Friday series. So at least that way, you'll have videos five days of the week. I still have a decent um, amount of days off of not making videos or editing these videos ahead of time. So I'll be able to post them on time. Other series that will be coming out or other videos that I will be posting without a set schedule that are going to be almost spontaneous is going to be uh, post-workout meals. I do post-workout meals for every workout, however, sometimes they become very boring. I don't want to post three videos back to back of me just eating like chicken, rice, and asparagus or something like that. Maybe I'll post one of those, just like a healthier option, but then maybe the next one won't come out for like three days, but it's going to be me eating out at a restaurant. So it'll be something different. Or maybe if I had like, it's just payday, I bought a couple new ingredients from grocery shopping and I make something special, Some just so it, it stays different. So I don't want to say like every day, but check out the next post-workout meal. This is whenever I have something cool to show or something different something not the same as yesterday pretty much um, another series that I'll be posting that I want to wish I could do regularly is basketball videos the reason why I can't do them regularly is basically because the basketball court that I go to is always packed and my friends can't always just meet up at the same time but the videos I want to do for basketball is like challenge videos if you've seen any of the side men or their friends they do for football like soccer football they do like crossbar challenge and other crazy stuff basically I want to do the same thing but with basketball I have a list of ideas I just need to record them and do them so that will come out hopefully I could at least do that maybe once a week I don't want to make any promises because LA fitness is always packed from open to close there's at least 10 people in the court so I can't just like come in there with a squad of five people just to make a video that's it for this video i hope you guys are hyped for the series to be coming out on this channel and k mills out douches